What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. John here. Um, I've been gone for a little bit, probably like a week, but um, that's like no excuse to to be provide not be providing you guys content. Today's video is going to be a Q and A that um I presented on my Instagram. If you guys haven't seen it. Um, that means you're not following me on my Instagram page. Go ahead and follow me. I'll leave all of my information in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out. But yeah, I was just basically doing a Q&A in celebration of reaching 7K plus subscribers. All thanks to you guys. I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have dished out to me. Honestly, it's just amazing how you guys can just see me on a screen and you would just want to support me and subscribe to me and listen to what I have to say all the time. It's just amazing and I really appreciate you guys and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So I'm really appreciative. I love you guys so much and go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, share this video with all of your friends and let's get right into this video. The first question that I got asked on my Instagram Q&A is from Haven is real underscore. She asked, as a trans female, I struggle with transitioning. Any tips on how to get past the fear of leaving the boy life behind and start pre presenting as female? So I had this fear when I first started transitioning as well. It was not easy, let me tell you, um, because you're going from one thing to the other and it's like all that you were taught, all that you were told to be, it's like now I have to completely be something else. So it's like you're, you're in fear of like, what if I don't do it right? What if I look stupid? What if people, you know, clock me from doing that? You know, and it's just all these things that you have to worry about. But honestly, the only thing that's going to help you is you. You have to just practice doing it. Maybe, you know, practice more feminine characteristics and mannerisms and private by yourself. Um, look at the women in your family, see how they present themselves and, um, you know, just start practicing it. And honestly, practice makes perfect. So honestly, that's all you really got to do. It really helps if you have like trans friends. So you can ask them every day, like, hey girl, how do, you, how do you do this? How do you do that? What do you do when this happens? And yada, yada, yada. So honestly, practice makes perfect. And I just say, go for it. It's worth it. Trust me. So the next question that I got is from Ariel21. She asked, how long have you known Daniel, Lara, and Kate? So Daniel, Lara, and Kate are two of my friends, two of my gay babies. I've known Daniel, Lara from high school. We had a math class together. Um, I low-key like had a crush on him back then when I was like my old self. But that's just not what we were, that's not what our relationship was supposed to be like, obviously. So um, we became best friends. And I've known Daniel for about a couple of years. So we met each other in high school. And Cade, he went to Citrus College with my fr best friend Amanda. And at the time, back at the time I had a crush on him, yeah, I'm a little hoe. I crush on everybody. At the time, Cade was in class with my friend Amanda and she would always tell me like, oh my gosh, um, to my old self and my old name, I just really don't like saying it. Fuck off. So she would say like, oh my gosh, like look at this guy, like he's hot, like he's cute, he's totally your type. And like she sent me his Instagram and she was like, you totally should like get with him, yada yada yada. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, he's cute. But I never really like tried to pursue him as that. So like when I started to transition, he like reached out to me or I reached out to him. I can't really remember. Cade, if you know, leave it down in the description box, bitch. Or just call me bitch. I've known Cade since then and then we started going out for drinks. Me and him have a story time that I just posted um, like about a few days ago. So go ahead and watch that and like it. Thank you. Shameless promo. But yeah, I've known Cade for like about one or two years now. Yeah. So the next question is from Love and Light 2. It says, are you considering going to college? If not, what would you want to study? Wishing you the best with your modeling and YouTube career. I think that person meant, if so, what would you want to study? Okay, we're gonna go with that. Life is unpredictable and you just never really know what's gonna happen, so yeah. Right now my answer is no, but if I were to go to college, I'd either want to be a dancer and study theater, or I would want to be a nurse. Like, how would you feel with me like, oh, hi, um, you have a boo-boo, let me help you with that. 
How would you feel if this bomb ass bitch just came up to you asking you for a band aid, bitch? You feel bomb. I'm just kidding. Um, and thank you so much for wishing me the best with my modeling and YouTube career. Honestly, I feel like it is a lot of work, but this is something that I really want. I'm super passionate about it. And I've made it this far, so I'm just going to keep on going and just, you know, drive it out and just see how things will go from here on out. Hopefully great things. Um, you know, sometimes I really forget how big of a platform YouTube is because you can get a lot of opportunities from this. Like a lot of people see you on this. A lot of people that you don't know are important, you know, out there um, and have a big platform in social media you know see you and they contact you and they want to work with you because they see how passionate you are and that really makes me feel so like flattered and like it makes my heart flutter like when they hit me up saying like hey like I like your content I like your personality I want to work with you I'm just like yes bitch yes come on get that queen the next question is from Alio Sor they asked, what inspired you to become a model? And congrats on 7K, you so deserve it. Thank you so much, love. Thank you so much. I'm not a model yet, actually, but what inspired me to want to be a model is just because I'm, I feel so superior in front of a camera. I say this all the time, but I really do, like, I'll be shy, like, before the camera comes on. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna fuck up on this video. I'm gonna say stupid shit. I'm gonna stutter, all this shit. Like, even though those things do happen, like, it happens less when the camera is on and it's right in front of my face. So what inspired me is because I'm tall, that's one thing. It's not a given, it just kind of happened to me. I'm just tall as fuck, 5'10". Um, and I just feel like I would do really well in it. And I love taking pictures. I love taking selfies. If you ask my friends, sometimes when they're picking me up, they're waiting outside because I'm taking selfies. So why not get paid for it? Huh? Get that coin, honey. Get that coin. Z. Zay asked me, will you be doing another hormone update? Yes, I will. Funny that you asked because I was thinking of doing one very soon. I'm actually at one year and 10 months on hormones now, so I was thinking of waiting until those last two months to like do a two year update instead of doing one year, 10 months, then right after that doing a two year on hormones update. So I think I'd rather just wait until the two years. But um, thank you for noticing and thank you for realizing that I need to be doing these updates because it's important for you all. So I'll get right onto that. Matthew Down Downs or Downes, sorry love if I pronounce that wrong, please let me know how to pronounce that. Um but she asked, what is your goal for me? What is your goal for making these vids? P.S. Thank you for always talking with your subs. You're really such a beautiful person inside it out. Thank you so much, baby. Honestly, like I really love talking to you guys. I always let you guys know, like, if you have something you need to talk to me about, or you feel like you need that shoulder to lean on, or just get some advice, I'm always here. My email is down below, my Instagram, all that social media, Snapchat, all that. You guys can hit me up on all of any of those social medias, and I will respond to you because I'm not just gonna. That's what being, that's what social media is for, like being social. Why have one if you're not gonna be social? My goal for making these videos is obviously to help others like myself send out a positive message, use my platform for good, educate those people who are obviously of the uneducated, hence some of the bimbos that write e-fucking-literate comments on my videos. And honestly, because YouTube, I'm so passionate about YouTube. So. Honestly, even though it's great that you can make money from it, it's like I love you guys the most and you guys are what make me so motivated to keep going every day because you guys are so sweet to me and you guys are so supportive and I love you guys so much. Honestly, it just really warms my heart that you guys follow me. Like, it's like, like you guys follow me. Like, that's so crazy. Like, uh, it just, it's just crazy. But I love to be an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community and I just, you know, would love to have my voice heard and to be seen. That's my goal. And that was it for the question and answers. I wasn't asked that many questions this time, but I will most likely be doing another one if this video can reach 200 thumbs up. I know you guys can do it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about like what's been going on in my life as well. Um, Recently, I've been going to my therapies for surgeries, um, 
and I want to talk about um, the progesterone. So I decided on not taking the progesterone, progesterone, because um, I'm already gaining a lot of weight from the hormones. I was 175, you guys. I was 175 pounds two months ago. I lost 20 pounds, you guys. I did not realize I was gaining that much weight. Like I was having, getting cottage cheese in my stomach and like my thighs and like, it was just bad. Like I understand that's womanhood, that's normal, but not for me, not for this girl here, not for me. I don't want that, I wanna look petite, I wanna look good, you know. My goal is to be a model, so you know, models don't have cottage cheese, I'm sorry. Like spread body, pos spread body positivity, I love, like my plus size girls out there and all that, but like for me, it's just not gonna work. It's not look good on my body frame. I'm so sorry. My hormones have really been taking a to its toll on me, but you know, I've been getting a regular exercise routine, so it's been working out good for me. And yeah, I just decided not to take the progesterone because basically it just, it just makes you gain more weight and I don't need that. I really don't need that because I was already insecure just on testosterone blockers and estrogen. I'm going to my last therapy session um, for my surgeries with my therapist. Um, it's August 11th, and oh my god, what the fuck was that in my mouth? That's so gross. It's August 11th, and I'm pretty sure she's just gonna ask me a few questions. Now I can't tell you guys what she's what we talked about in the office um, during the session, but it's just the kind of things that you would suspect. Like, are you ready for this? Yada yada yada. Just seeing where your mental is. Um, so if you're depressed, let them know because they can help you. You really don't want to go into these surgeries being depressed because you will get more depressed and you will think that everything you did is the wrong decision. You'll probably regret it. So really get some help if you're depressed and um, I wish you all luck who's probably going through the same thing as me. I'm so excited to have this finally happening. It felt like it was never going to happen and the fact that it's happening so fast, I'm just like, whoa, 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 there, buddy, slow down. But I'm really grateful. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. What else? What else? Oh, I had a photo shoot with Willow Shields, Primrose Everdeen from Hunger Games. Um, if you guys know who that is, leave a comment down in the description box below. Um, it was really amazing. You guys can see photos on my Instagram. I'll leave that in the description box. Go ahead and follow me so you can see my photos. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm doing really well. Um, I have my bumps in the road just like anyone else in the world I'm a human being um, people just seem to seem to forget that because I am a creator on YouTube and you see my face a lot on social media and not in person so it seems like I'm this like fairy tale unrealistic um, fiction character so yeah I just want to let you guys know that I go through things I have my insecurities too and um, I get through it and I need more support from others, friends, family, everything. I need it because it really helps me out. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you guys following me. Thank you so much for helping me hit 7K plus subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Be a part of this family. It is an amazing family. I love my subscribers. I'm not even going to call you guys subscribers. You guys are my family. I love you guys so much. And have a good night or day wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll see you guys in my next video.